Hello there. Welcome to your latest Met Office 10 day trend. There's snow in the forecast for the next few days, but how are things set to change over the weekend and to the start of next week? Well, we've got cold air in charge across the bulk of the UK through Wednesday and through the rest of the week. Now you can see that with the deep blue colours across anywhere from parts of North and England northwards. However, we've got significantly milder air across the south and that boundary is where we're going to see that risk of snow through the next few days. And that boundary will slowly start to shift northwards. It's not going to move by itself though as this area of low pressure is going to be driving that change. The low pressure in the Atlantic will push closer to the UK across the, through the rest of the week and into the weekend and you can see how as that low pressure approaches it shifts this boundary between the milder and the colder air further north across the country. So by the time we get to Sunday morning, that cold air is only really restricted to the far north of Scotland. And as a result, the snow risk will be restricted to the far north of Scotland. But before then, we've still got that boundary to come across more central areas of England through Thursday and then into more southern areas of Scotland through Friday. So where that boundary it lies, that's where we have our frontal systems across the UK. And that is where the most significant snow risk will be. Once it does push further north though and you do get into that milder air things will turn much more to rain and it will get warmer as well. So that snow risk will be across southern areas of Scotland throughout Friday. There is a snow and ice warning in force for here. Across the Pennines as well there could be a few more centimetres but generally any snow will be restricted to above around 300 metres through Friday. Across parts of North Wales and the Peak District where we will have seen some snow things will become much warmer. So there could be some snow melt and generally there'll still be quite a lot of cloud around and some fairly persistent rain in, at times. Through Saturday then, that snow risk, that cold air, much more restricted to the far north of Scotland. That's where we've got a further snow and ice warning in force. But elsewhere across the rest of the country, it's going to be quite unsettled, cloudy and damp with quite a lot of low cloud around. Although there could be some frost in the morning, particularly across northern areas in the south, it should be much milder. There's also the potential for some more persistent rain to come across the southeast through Saturday afternoon. But there is some uncertainty in the details of that. So make sure you keep up to date with the day to day forecast if you are going to be in these areas through the weekend. And then on Sunday, we've still got that same area of low pressure bringing persistent rain, this time much more restricted to northern areas. And it will be, in fact, mainly falling as rain apart from across the far north of Scotland. In the south, though, it should be a much drier day, still fairly limited sunshine, probably some mist and fog to start and a frosty start for some of us on Sunday. So we've still got that low pressure with us throughout the whole weekend when it does arrive through Friday. But into start of next week, we do see a slowly but surely a little change in the weather as that low pressure does start to push to fill out and push further east, allowing this ridge of higher pressure to push in from the west. And that will bring a change to our weather through the start of through the middle part of next week, with higher pressure becoming a little bit more dominant. But the low pressure will be quite slow to clear, particularly across northern and eastern areas of the UK. It could bring some fairly persistent rain through Sunday as I've just shown you but also still into Monday so there's a potential for some quite heavy rainfall totals to build up. There's a little bit of uncertainty in that so we do need to take a closer look in a bit more details. Here I have the maps for the precipitation totals the rainfall accumulations through the course of Sunday and into Monday. Here we have the Met Office model in the middle the European model ECMWF and on the far right we have the GFS model. So you can see what the, the areas highlighted with the greatest amount of rainfall to come through Sunday to Monday are different from model to model. Between the, uh, the Met Office model and the ECMWF model, it's highlighting generally northern and particularly the far northeast eastern areas of, the, of Scotland, but also parts of Northern Ireland and Northwestern England as well, with the drier weather dominating to the south of the UK. You can see though in GFS, it's quite a different story. Still some heavy rain across the far northwest, but many areas seeing that drier weather. That's probably as that higher pressure, that ridge of higher pressure comes in a little sooner. So there is some uncertainty in the details of exactly where the highest rainfall totals will be. But the general theme is that between Sunday and Monday, it's going to be quite a wet picture for northern areas of the UK and a bit of a drier story for the south. So it's worth keeping up to date with the details on that as we approach the weekend. 
However, as I said, there is a change then on the way. As that ridge of high pressure pushes in from the west, we're then expecting the high to build across eastern areas of the UK. There is some uncertainty in the details for next week, but the general story is for a large area of high pressure to develop to the east of the UK and a large area of low pressure to develop to the west of the UK. Where exactly that high and low sit it, in, it, in relevance to the UK is a little bit uncertain. And unfortunately, because the UK is much smaller in comparison to that high and low pressure, it will bring some significant differences to the weather depending on where, we, where it sits. So in this scenario, this is the most likely scenario from around Wednesday onwards next week. It would bring a southerly wind direction or southeasterly to some more eastern areas of the UK. High pressure still fairly dominant, so probably quite a lot of dry weather and temperatures around average by day, probably some cooler or frostier nights to come, particularly across more southern areas or where the winds are lighter. However, there is the potential for that low pressure to be sat a little bit further to the east and that would bring more of a southerly wind, which is a much warmer direction, so we'd see less of a risk of the colder weather but a greater chance of seeing some quite heavy rain coming in from the west and probably some quite windy weather as well. But the east still would be most likely to be holding on to that drier weather as it will be closer to the high pressure. And there is a third scenario that could win out throughout next week, which is which would be if the high pressure were to sit further west across the country. Now, this scenario was looking much more likely a little bit earlier on this week for the bulk of next week, but it is looking less likely at least until the back end of next week. So probably not until next weekend could we see a situation like this arising. This would bring this high pressure sat more centrally across the UK would bring more of an easterly direction to wind direction to the UK, which at this time of year is a very cold direction. So that could bring a greater chance of some colder spells of weather and probably some showers, the wintry showers across eastern areas. But at this time, for the bulk of next week, this scenario is looking less likely. It might come in for time, from time to time, but the most likely scenario is that we sit in between that low and that high pressure. So what does all that mean for the temperatures? So well, after a cold end to this week, temperatures are set to rise, as I said, through the weekend. Here we have the temperatures for the next two weeks for Glasgow in the top map here and London in the bottom map here. So let's take a look at Glasgow first of all. You can see that after the cold end of the week, temperatures will slowly rise into the weekend as that milder air that I showed earlier on approaches from the south. And then temperatures sit around average through much of next week with a southerly southeasterly wind direction across the UK. And for London, we have a, a different story with the milder air approaching earlier on. So it's from the Thursday or Friday this week where we have that milder air. But then as we approach the start of next week, Monday and Tuesday, temperatures come a little bit lower down, closer to average, if not a little bit below by day and night. That's showing that greater risk of seeing that easterly wind direction across more eastern areas, London being a more eastern area than Glasgow. However, notice as we get to the back end of next week from Thursday the 15th onwards, we see quite a spread in the, both the minimum temperature and the maximum temperature, showing that uncertainty as to where exactly the high and the low pressure will be centred. So there is still a little bit to, to be decided about much of next week, but for now, we still have some snow to come through the rest of the week and into the weekend with warnings in force. So please make sure you keep up to date with the day-to-day -day forecast and check our warnings on our app. I'll see you later.